I think the whole body positivity thing is wrong, and I have two reasons for that. Number one, not everything about your body is necessarily positive. Not all of it should be accepted or loved or embraced, okay? Morbid obesity, for instance, is an objectively negative thing because it's unhealthy. It will kill you. Uh, and it will cause all kinds of other health problems as well. Your, your body is not meant to carry around hundreds of pounds of extra fat. That's not, we weren't meant for that. It's, it's, it's just not good for your body. It, it, has, it has, you know, it has a terrible effect on pretty much every aspect of your body because none of it was made to support that, right? Um, from your internal organs to your bones, just everything. So there's no, that's not something we should embrace because it's unhealthy. And it's also something that very often develops through an unhealthy and inactive lifestyle. So when you're embracing the morbid obesity, you're also embracing the lifestyle which caused it. And I get it, okay? I talk, every, anytime we talk about this issue of obesity, being overweight and so on, you're always gonna have the people who say, well, yeah, but what about, you know, it's possible for someone to become morbidly obese, um, you know, even if they're trying to eat healthy. I mean, someone, someone wrote to me yesterday. I, I, I mentioned this issue briefly yesterday on Facebook. Someone wrote to me. They're very angry. And they said, um, they said, well, you know, there are people who are obese now because they're going through cancer treatments. Um, obesity is one of the symptoms of, of, uh, of brain tumors, which I don't know if that's true or not. I'll assume it's true. I didn't look it up, you know. Um, okay. And, and that's obviously an exception, but we have to ask ourselves when we look at the overall problem of obesity in America, do we imagine that most of that is because of brain tumors? That most of it is because of disease really? And if so, why is there so much more morbid obesity in America than there is in Ethiopia? Obviously it's it, uh, clearly it has it's primarily, not solely, but primarily driven by lifestyle and by diet. 